The next missile is BrahMos. The BrahMos or PJ-10 is a medium range ramjet supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarine, ships, aircraft or land. The BrahMos has been developed as a joint venture between the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO of India and the Federal State Unitary Enterprises NPO Machinostroyenia NPOM of Russia as a BrahMos Aerospace via an intergovernmental agreement. Russia is providing missile technology in this project and India has developed the ability to guide during the flight. The missile are designed, developed, produced and marketed by BrahMos Aerospace Company. The company was established on 12th February 1998 with a authorized share capital of US $250 million. India holds 50.5% shares of the joint venture and Russia holds 49.5% shares. It is based on the Russian P-800 Onyx cruise missile. The name BrahMos is formed by combining the meaning of two rivers, the Brahmaputra of India and the Moscow of Russia. The intergovernmental agreement between India and Russia is for design to develop, development to test, test to production, production to induction and induction to marketing, marketing to export. The cruise missile like BrahMos are the type of systems known as a standoff range weapons. The standoff range weapons are fired from a range sufficient to allow the attacker to evade defensive fire from the enemy. BrahMos can be launched in a single or in a salvo from a ship towards single or different type of targets within the interval of 2 to 2.5 seconds in various trajectories. That means around 8 missiles can be launched simultaneously or within the interval of 2 or 2.5 seconds. And apart from this, the, all these can be launched in different trajectories. So, a salvo of 8 missiles can penetrate and destroy a group of frigates having a modern anti-missile defense. So, what are the special features of the BrahMos cruise missiles? The missile has two stages. First is a solid and the second one is a ramjet liquid propellant. The initial acceleration is provided by the solid propellant booster and the supersonic cruise missile is provided by the liquid fueled ramjet system. The air breathing ramjet propulsion is more fuel efficient than as compared to the conventional rocket propulsion. That means unlike common missile, it draw energy from the ramjet technology by pulling air. This increase the range of the missile significantly. It can change the route in the air itself and also able to penetrate the moving target. It can fire vertically or directly from the projector. In the case of Quick Attack, no missile of this world survive before the technique of the BrahMos. It can fly at an altitude of 10 meter. The BrahMos is equipped with a stealth technologies designed to make it less visible to the radar and other detection methods. It is able to spoof other missile detection system. It has an inertial navigation system INS for, for the target of the ships and as a GPS system for the target of the land. Missile technology can be used by three army, navy and air forces. BrahMos hit capacity is almost twice as much as the Tom Hawk missile of the America. So that means it is more deadly than the Tomahawk. The unique feature of the BrahMos is that it can be fired from land, it can be fired from air, it can be fired from submarine, from the warship and from anywhere. Not only this, in addition to 
the conventional launcher, the missile can be fired from the vertical launcher also. So, so it can be fired from the vertical as well as horizontal. So, the maneuvering version of the missiles has been recently successfully tested, increase the fire power of the missile even further. So, that means we have a various uh, uh, range. So, it can be fired from anywhere in any manner. It is capable of carrying warhead of 300 kilograms, both conventional as well as nuclear warhead can be carried out by the missiles and has a top supersonic speed of Mach 2.8 to 3. That means we can say it's roughly three times speed of the sound. The missile is high, highly versatile in nature. It is unmatched speed, precision and the power makes it ultimate modern weapons. The missile has a accuracy of 99.99% and that is ultimate. Brahmos follow a variety of trajectories like high, high to low trajectories, very low trajectories, surface trajectory, skim trajectories, etc. Unlike the ballistic missile which have only one trajectory that is a projectile. Moreover, the, the trajectory is unpredictable also. That means, the enemies are not able to predict which type of trajectory is adopted or going to adopt it or going to change by the Brahmos. Because Brahmos is powered till the time it hit the targets, it developed the enormous kinetic energy which increase its destructive capacities. While India already extended the range of the missile, from the earlier 290 kilometers to the 400 kilometers successfully test fire the variant in the March 2017. The test can be further increased to 800 kilometers because now India is a signatory, India is a member of uh, Missile Technology Control Regime, MTCR. India signed this uh, treaty or become part of it in June 2016. So, the Missile uh, Technology Control Regimes uh, allows uh, India to further enhance the range of the missile. With INS uh, Rajput, the first version of Brahmos missile system was inducted into the Navy in 2005. It is now fully operational with the two regiment of the army. So, it will become part of the army, it will become part of the Navy. India successfully carried out the maiden test fire of the submarine launched version of the supersonic cruise missile on 20th March 2013 and this allows that yes India becoming the first country in the world to have this capability. The submarine launched version of the Brahmos was successfully test fired from the underwater pantoon in the Bay of Bengal. This is the first test fire of an underwater supersonic cruise missile anywhere in the world. In May 2019, the India successfully test fired the aerial version of the Brahmos missile from the Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter aircraft. So, Sukhoi aircraft they are modified in such a way, they carry the Brahmos missile. The Brahmos missiles provides the Indian Air Force a much desired capability to strike on any target at the sea or land with a pinpoint accuracy by day or night in all weather condition. It is a universal missile for the multiple platforms. It work on the fire and forget principle. High supersonic speed all through the flight. Ensure the deadliness. Long flight with the varieties of the trajectories very unique to the Pramos. Low radar signature because of the stall technology. Pinpoint accuracy and with high lethal power is another significant. In 2016, India agreed to sell Vietnam the Brahmos missile after gaining the acceptance into the missile technology control regime. Because after becoming the member of MTCR, we are we, we can we are allowed to sell the missile to any countries. The 800 kilometer range of the Brahmos tested in mid. 2021, India and Russia together have developed 
the supersonic cruise missile range BrahMos. India has successfully test fired the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile from a military base in the Balasore, Odisha as a part of the weapon systems services life extension program designed for the Indian Army. The range of this BrahMos was 800 km that was the extended range. Under extreme weather condition, the missile was launched from a mobile autonomous launcher. Stationed at the launch pad, three of the integrated test range at Chandipur. The defense minister said, mobile autonomous launcher BrahMos has enormous potentials and applications.